Okay. Hello, people of YouTube and DeviantArt. I've been asked to give a little demonstration about how I go about making pony plushies, and today I'll be doing a little demonstration about how <clears throat> I design things like the hair elements and the tails of the ponies. So here's a good example. Basically, you just start with a few pieces of paper taped together. I'm sure you can buy bigger sheets that are bigger than your standard printer paper, but this is what I've got to work with, so this is what I use. I just tape them together. You can see the tape here at the seams. <clears throat> and basically, I'm redesigning my vinyl scratch today. A lot of, it was the only second one I made, and a lot of the hairs are just out of proportion or weren't correct. So I'm basically designing it from the ground up again today. And here's one of the pieces of, I basically divided my hairs up into the top hair, the side hair, and the tail. And here's the side hair portion that I was just got done doing. And you can see, basically I just take the patterns that I have for the head portion. See, here's the head, and here's part of the back of the head, and then here's where the ear would be. I just use that as a guide for what kind of size hair I'm going to need to look in good proportion. So this is basically the the portion of the hair that covers the one side of their face. And I just make a nice demonstration here of where the seam's going to be. That's where I'm going to attach it. And then just draw a general shape of what the hair is going to look like. And this is after a few adjustments. I I made this come out farther ahead. I made these a bit wider. With these points, you have to kind of exaggerate them a bit because when you're sewing, they don't come out very pointy and you have to give them a lot of taper to them, otherwise they won't look quite right when they come out. It's basically just a lot of trial and error that I've come up with after making about, I don't know how many of these now, probably about eight I think I've made. And I just pin the patterns here to keep them in place, draw around them. Now, after this, I'll take off these pieces of paper and just look at it by itself and see if I can see any anomalies because a lot of this stuff is covered up by the patterns right now. Just make sure it looks all right. Then another example, I was working on the top here earlier. It's probably the part that I was most happy about on the one vinyl scratch that I do have done. So basically, I've just taken the old pattern and traced it on the outside. You can kind of see the faint lines on the top and around these points here. There's faint lines where the old pattern used to be. And basically the changes I wanted to make here were just to make the these bangs here a lot shorter. I made them about an inch and a half shorter. They were too long on the original. I tended to make things a lot bigger than they needed to be. Kind of shrunk this down a bit to make it smaller, be, be in more proportion with the new hair that I'm designing. And basically from here, this is just the shape of the entire thing, but since there's multiple colors, I'll have to draw in each individual color, cut this shape out, put it on one that doesn't have anything on it to so see how it looks and then make any refinements from there. And here's the final example of what I was working on. Basically the same principle here. Take your pattern. This is the body pattern. This is basically gives you a good visualization of the shape. And then here just draw your element of your table or tail. I tend to mark where the seam is where I'm going to uh, sew it on just so I remember everything's orientation. And eventually this too will have to get divided up into colors, cut out and just see how the shape, uh, shape and size look on everything. And then basically, when I was doing all this, like here's the old pattern for the side here. It was a lot bigger. The shape was all kind of wonky. And then basically I've just been using the old plushie as a design template. See some things wrong with it. Like if you look, this side here goes almost all the way down to the feet. So that's really way too long. The tail is just ginormous compared to the body. You can't even First of all, it's not stuffed right, but second of all, the tail is just way too huge. <clears throat> and then finally, I've long since been able to fix the face on these things, but, so that'll get changed. And then, here's another thing, like I made this hair a bit uh, thinner, so it's not going all the way back to the cutie mark. It'll be a little more in check with the rest of the body. And so, those are the design basics. I'll basically just be taking these designs, cutting them out, refining them a little more, and then getting into each individual color, and then finally 
cutting out the pieces of fabric to make them. I have to go to the fabric store pretty soon, but I just have one more exam, so after that I'll be able to work on them a little more intensively. But that's basically the first phase of anything, and this much so far has probably taken me about a good two and a half, three hours, so nothing even cut out of fabric yet, and I'm already invested quite a bit in this one, so if anyone wants to keep a time tally, they can feel free to take my word for it and have a running total as we go through this project. But that's it for now. Next installment will probably be seeing these finished designs and cutting out some fabric.